This is the one thing that I have, I, I just, I have, it boggles my mind. I have no idea why I never used it. I did hear about it, but I just never used it. And that's what we're gonna go over today in today's video. outside here in northern New Jersey almost winter and it is cold it snowed the other day they brine the damn road so the bikes not going out they brine them they salt them and you guys know that's going to destroy our motorcycle so that's why we're not going out we're looking at some more rain and snow this Thursday and Friday hopefully it washes it away we'll see maybe we could get a ride in this weekend but I have a pretty good video today because I'm sure you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about this feature on your motorcycle, but if you don't, well, that's why I wanna talk about it because believe it or not, no matter how much riding I've did in the past, I've heard about this feature, but I really never used it. Don't ask me why. And I could have used this feature on literally like a hundred different occasions and never did, but now I will. So that feature is parade mode. If you guys have ever heard of it, the true terminology is EITMS, Engine Idle Temperature Management System. So basically what that does is once you enable it, and I'll show you guys how to do all that, so just stay tuned. Once you guys enable the system, the computer, the ECU is going to kill spark and fuel or either or to the number two cylinder, to the rear cylinder. So this way that cylinder is not building up heat and this way your oil could dissipate that heat that much faster out of the engine. So that is the principle. And you know what, like I said, even when I had silver back with the 128 and I blew the motor because we overheated it, going to Long Island and being stuck through Manhattan in about 105 degree weather, I possibly could have used it. And I just, I didn't, I didn't think about it. So maybe this information, could save you guys a lot of headache. And I'm thinking to myself now, if I have used the parade mode slash EITMS, if I have used it that day, would have that prevented my 128 at the time on Silverback, would that have prevented my motor from overheating and eventually failing? So that is a good question. I didn't have any fans on Silverback at the time. Um, here, by the way, is Mad Max. If you guys miss her, here she is, <laughs> or he is, whatever you want to call it. But I, oh my God, I love this bike and everything that has been done to it. Let me know if uh, anybody's new to the channel and you guys want to see another, uh, like a go over video as far as all this stuff that's been done to it. Let me know in the comments and I'll do it. Or if there is anything you guys want me to talk about, because now, for the next couple months, we're gonna be doing quite a few videos here in the garage because winter's coming up. So we got Dece end of December, January, February, uh, probably about two months. There's gonna be quite a few informative videos, I should say, on the channel inside the garage due to the weather conditions. So uh, let me know. If you guys want me to make a video about anything, any topic, whatever it is, hit me up in the comments, let me know. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that Indie Ridge is having a special. If you use my code, Fanatics, you will get 10% off. And on top of that, if you order something by tomorrow, tomorrow's the last day, the 15th of December, you could get their new style boots right there. I have all the other ones. These are perforated, these are solid. I love these things. And obviously, the entire Indie Ridge line of gloves, which are fantastic. If you use code FANATICS, you get 10% off, and if you actually order by either today or tomorrow, you get free shipping, so that's a great value. Great boots, great gloves. That's pretty much going to be the cutoff for ordering prior to Christmas, so if you wanna get anybody or yourself some indie ridge boots or gloves now's the time use my code fanatics head on over to www.indieridgeusa.com anyway getting back to the video so i am going to show you guys how to put this bike into parade slash eitms mode 
And I'm definitely going to use it. And I'm actually, like I said, I'm actually mad at myself because who knows if that would, if that would have, you know, prevented Silverback and the 128 from overheating and causing obviously the to the motor to fail. Maybe it could have, maybe it wouldn't have, who knows? But the bike has it, the bike has the technology to do that, to shut off number two cylinder. So why not use it? And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. My bike, because I have the Kraus T-bar set up and the Kraus triple tree, the ignition lock switch is gone. So basically my bike right now, my key fob is in there, in the cubby. My bike right now operates pretty much like a CVO, meaning the CVOs do not have a ignition switch. If you have the key fob with you, if you hit the bike in the wrong position right there, the bike will turn on. So that's how my bike operates. Some of you guys were asking me if, um, if, if you could still lock the steering. Yes, right there is the lock. So I could still lock my steering if I guess I'm leaving the bike and I'm worried about someone stealing it. Yeah, so that's how it operates. So I don't have that. So I will go over right now exactly how you put your motorcycle into EITMS mode. And I suggest you use it. If you're definitely, obviously right now, you're, we're going into the cool months, cold months. But coming up spring, summer, if you guys are gonna be riding in some tremendous heat, I highly recommend using it and I'm going to be using it too. So make believe if you guys, if you have a CVO, the operation is basically going to be the same as mine. If not, what we're going to do is I'm um, just going through the motions. You're gonna turn the key on, the ignition key. Then you are going to put it in the run position and now everything is going to light up. Hope all you guys are doing well, safe and healthy. Hope your families are doing well. All right, so I got the screen up. My Bluetooth is going to kick on, so we'll wait through that. CarPlay, see, because I have that Bluetooth that I connected to that dongle, I no more, I don't have that dongle in there, I have the Bluetooth in there, so it's, as soon as I turn my bike on, which I love, it automatically attaches to my phone, the CarPlay comes up, see it right there, oh my God, it's so easy, so simple. I got the uh, Garmin Zumo XT right here, um, if you guys haven't seen that, let me show you guys that, we'll spend some time, I'll show you guys what I have here couple cool things so this is basically my Garmin Zumo XT satellite navigator so I got this because I'm planning on doing a lot of remote riding in 2023 the problem is if you have your cell phone and you set it either on Waze or Maps you put a destination in and then basically you're riding and then you go into the areas where they have no cell phone service. Somebody commented, a couple people commented, well, yeah, it still works. Your map will still work. Yes, it will still work as long as your phone does not die and it will still work as long as you do not leave the app. Once you leave the app or delete the app or something like that, come out of the app, it loses its memory or your phone dies. If you have no cell phone service, it will not come back online 100% because been there, done that. So with this product, with the Xumo XT, this is satellite, through a satellite. I will have my map and navigation, see, see it says acquiring satellites. I'm gonna have my map and my navigation no matter where I go. I could be in East Bumble, you know what I'm talking about. So. No matter what, if I lose my cell phone, lose cell phone service, I, I will always have it because it is from satellites. So that's that. Uh, let me take that off. Really cool. Um, okay, so I have the Apple CarPlay right there. If we go here to this eye icon information, right there you got info, you got, uh, if you guys could see that, you got the altitude, 
You have the temperature inside the garage, 61.7, then all uh, miles per hour. You got a whole bunch if you turn, hit that engine button. Uh, let me go forward right here. You got the trip summary, but if we go, we're gonna go to the middle one, engine. Right there, it says EITMS is disabled. So once you have the key in the on position, the um, switch in the run position, all you have to do, watch my hand, you're going to roll the throttle forward, not backwards like you're giving a gas, you're gonna roll the throttle forward. So I'm going to roll the throttle forward and watch as the, and this is the cool thing is that the cruise control emblem right there is going to flash. So just so you guys know, once I roll this throttle forward, the cruise control emblem is going to flash amber, meaning that the EITMS is disabled. If I roll the throttle on again, you're gonna to have to hold it there for about three seconds. It's going to flash, the cruise control emblem is going to flash green. That means the EITMS is enabled. And not only will it show there green, um, it is going to show here as well. If you guys could see that, it, it right now it says EITMS is disabled. So let me roll the throttle. I'm gonna roll the throttle. Trust me, that's what I'm doing. I want you to see that cruise control. I'm holding the throttle. You see the cruise control flashed amber and this did not change. So now I'm gonna roll the throttle one more time. Watch it flash green. Doing it now. Now it flashed green, and now it changed here to EITMS is enabled. So just so you guys know, once you enable it, it is basically going to be enabled until you disable it again. So you do not have to go into the screen to check. You can, obviously, to get confirmation, but you could also look at the cruise control light it will only flash, it's not going to stay green because if, obviously if you're using cruise control and you enable cruise control, that is going to stay a solid green. So all you're gonna do is basically get, gonna get a flash. You could roll the throttle forward, amber flash of the cruise control emblem, and amber is disabled, EITMS is disabled, and then if you roll on the throttle forward again, and the cruise control emblem flashes green, that is enabled. You can also check it on this screen. So once it is enabled like it is now, basically when you come to a stop or under, I believe one point, I think 1.2 miles an hour, or the engine speed is under 1200 RPM, I'm just going back in my notes. Also the engine temperature sensor input and the ambient air temperature need to be uh, above a certain temperature in order for the rear cylinder to shut off. Obviously, because if it's winter and cold out, you don't need the that, obviously, even though it's enabled, you don't need it to kick on, if that makes any sense. And it does. <laughs> but uh, if it's hot, if those parameters are all correct, you're stopped, engine RPM under 1200 RPM, and it's, and it's hot, it's above those parameters, well, as long as it's enabled, your number two cylinder will shut down. And what happens is it brings the engine idle up to, uh, I believe, 1,000 RPM. And that helps cooling of the oil because number two cylinder, there isn't any explosions on number two cylinder, which isn't building up heat. So that in return is going to be able for your engine oil to dissipate the heat faster. So that's the principle. So, shit, man, I can't believe I've never used it. It is such, it's like, it's like freaking right there. I mean, it's such a simple and easy thing to use. It's, it was on the bike the whole time and I've never used it. Nor, uh, not a lot of people, I don't know. Do a lot of people know about it? Hit me up in the comments and let me know. Uh, because I know a lot of people heard about it. A lot of people I know did not hear about this. So, um, I know there's vid other videos about it, but... If you guys haven't uh, known about it, or you know, obviously this is the first time you hearing about it, I hope this information um, is a ton of wealth to you on that hot day. Because honestly, like I said, going back to Silverback with the 128, if I knew about it, 
um, and just thought about it, it could have prevented me from that blown motor on, uh, on Silverback on the 128. Uh, so like I said, uh, hopefully this video does you some justice in the summer months because I'm definitely going to use it. It's like I'm really, I'm like, I'm almost embarrassed to even make this video because I like should have known about this. And I did, but I didn't like read into it too much or ask about it. And I know a lot of people never heard of it. So if you haven't, definitely use this system because from now on, I definitely will use this system. Whether we are stuck in traffic, whether we're doing a parade with the club or something like that, um, I, I'm definitely gonna use it. If it is hot, period, if it's like above probably 80 degrees, um, I'm, I'm just gonna enable it. That's all, I'm just gonna keep it enabled and let the engine do its thing um, because it doesn't hurt. So, oh, so let, let me go over this. So basically, if you're asking, uh, if you stop and all those parameters are met, it's gonna go into the EITMS mode, raising the, the engine uh, idle up to 1,000 RPM. How does it disengage? Very easily. You could either roll the throttle, give it gas, and if the engine RPMs, I believe, go above like 13, 1400, it's going to disable. Or if you just put it into gear and start rolling off, it's going to disable. Uh, your number two cylinder is going to obviously start firing again. And if you have it enabled, basically when you come to a stop again, it's going to enable. So the number two cylinder is going to shut off. I mean, I, I'm really pissed off at myself, to be honest with you, because I should have, I should have known about this. I should have looked into this. Um, it's one of those things, I think, that not a lot of people talk about. Hopefully this information helps you. I'm definitely going to use it. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a couple more videos like this because there's a lot of, lot of other information, simple information that someone like myself that loves Harley Davidsons, that uh, you know ride Harley Davidsons a lot, you know, and um, had Harley Davidsons for um, you know, over 20 years, should should have known. So I'm not, uh, I'm not embarrassed to talk about it, but I want you guys to know as well, uh, whether you guys know about it already or not, but I know there's a lot of people that could definitely use um, this information. Mad Max is friggin' looking beast. Check out Indie Ridge, use code FANATICS for 10% off and your free shipping uh, today and tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Love you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. I'll see you guys on the next one.